Well, the word dogmatism, of course, is a very negative term. Originally, the word dogma meant to teach, and so, uh, or a teaching. So in that sense, it's a good thing. Um, but dogmatism, there's a bad sense of dogmatism, which is a closed mind uh, dogmatism. And um, uh, well, this is, this is a universal problem in, in all fields. Um, and uh, even, in, in the, uh, even in the best universities, it's very tempting for the professor, the uh, established professor, to say, I now know everything. And the student makes questions, and the professor just says, be quiet. You know? <laughs> you know. So um, I think we have to encourage um, uh, you know, genuine questioning, op open questions. And this is true also in, in, in religion as well as, uh, as in science. You know. um, one thing that's very difficult to, um, to teach people is critical thinking. I know the word critical thinking sometimes has bad connotations in Brazil, but it's very, very important to be able to think objectively, even about things you believe in passionately yourself. So, um, so I think the attitude we have to cultivate is in a debate. It's not whether I'm right or you're right, but what is the truth? What is the truth? And can we work out the truth? If at the end of a debate, I realize I'm wrong and the other person is right, I will rejoice, I will be happy <laughs> if we've discovered something true, which is new knowledge. Um, so, uh, but but that's, that's a hard attitude to, um, to encourage, it's a hard attitude to establish uh, in, in, in the education process because it's very easy to think of it as, as a kind of game of football where you know, I win, you lose, or, you, you know, um, or I lose and you win. Um, what's important to try to encourage is, is genuine dialogue. 